Okay, so the next game and the unfortunate downfall of Halo is Halo 4, which is the first one created by 343 Industries, not Bungie. Bungie has left the building, and now it is 343 Industries owned by Microsoft. AKA, it's just fucking Microsoft. It's, it's, it's just Microsoft. They're just, just putting shit out. And like right from the beginning, you can tell that it's a completely different industry or different company. Why? Because they changed the fucking art style. Like, the fuck? Definitely one of the top ways to alienate a previous franchise audience is to change how everything fucking looks. Because that definitely makes me feel like I want to play the same fucking game. It's not. It doesn't feel like the same game. It doesn't look like the same game. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? Ugh. And then the, the campaign is... Is weird. They have some like odd sexual tension between Cortana and Master Chief. Like they want to smash. Like I'm like the fuck. That's ugh, gross. I'm not watching her. All right. I'm playing a fucking video game. Where Master Chief shoots aliens in the face. That's what I want to watch. And then also the audio mixing is awful. It sounds terrible. Everything is crunchy sounding and gross. <laughs> And it's just massively overblown, the explosions are way too loud, and there's parts where, like, the campaign is trying to tell you stuff about the missions that you're doing, or, like, people are talking in your head, and you can't fucking hear them over the sounds of explosions and people blowing up! Like, the fuck? Who thought, like, who was listening to the game and was like, yeah, it's good, it sounds great. <laughs> yep, 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 sounds great, mm -hmm. 100%. And then there is the multiplayer, which of course, that's the main thing that everybody plays in Halo games, is the multiplayer, because, uh, it's the same thing. And, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Instead of playing Halo because you like Halo, they thought you bought Halo because you like Call of Duty. So they threw some fucking Call of Duty shit in there with the fucking loadouts and the stupid fucking killstreak system with their ordnance bullshit. It's dumb. It's fucking dumb. Nobody wants that. I wanted to play Halo because I want to play Halo, and you guys fuck it up. How the hell? How hard was that? Literally just make the same game over again. People will fucking buy it. But no. No, let's change shit up. The fuck. Like, why would you do that? It's like if Bungie had, like, a fucking torch and was handing it off to 343. They're like, here's the Halo torch. Here you go. And Bungie was, and 343 was just like, Bleh! and then instantly dropped into a puddle of water and then fucking picked it up and tried to relight it with fucking Call of Duty's torch. What the fuck? I bought Halo to play Halo, not to play fucking Call of Duty. Get that shit out of my face. Get that shit out of fucking Halo. No. Let's go on to the next game. Okay, so now let's start talking about the last entrance to this franchise, which is unfortunately Halo 5, the dumpster fire of video games. Uh, way before any of those other games were doing it, Halo 5 did it, because they're fucking cool. So Halo 5, uh, of course, is the continuation of the 343 story where you're pretty much just Master Chief trying to fuck Cortana, which is gross and weird. Uh, but they added a new guy who's played by fucking Luke Cage, and they got Nathan Fillion in here too. So they got a whole bunch of like famous people, and they're trying to market the fuck out of this game. They made this huge thing about talking about how Master Chief is gonna get fought by this other Spartan, and they're gonna duke it out. And... You, Spartan Lock, are the unofficial story. Your mission is go. Let's hunt him down. We're gonna see who wins. Blah blah blah. You know, fucking Master Chief. It's very obvious the Master Chief's going to win, and also, the fight lasts like maybe two minutes, tops, and then they're buddy-buddy for the rest of the fucking game. Ugh, stupid, dumb, that was a bad marketing ploy because everybody got pissed off the instant they played the fucking campaign. Second of all, the campaign, yet again, still super bloomy, they fixed the audio, so it sounds a lot nicer, but the problem is, is that they added these four characters that or three characters that follow you around the entire fucking campaign and say dumb shit all the time, get killed, and they don't help you. They, they can pick you up, technically, but they can, they can pick you up and res you so you can get back up and continue fighting so you don't have to restart the mission every time that you fucking die because you got stuck by a random leap. But they're so fucking stupid that they just stand there and watch you die like a million times over before you even try and think about picking you up.
whole point of it is pretty much to convince you, like, hey, you should play with your friends. You should play. You should play this game with your friends. The problem is, is that they removed fucking split screen from Halo 5. There's no fucking split screen. No multiplayer split screen. No call up split screen. Nothing. You cannot play split screen on Halo 5, which is fucking absurd. That is literally the staple of Halo. Is so you can play with your friends, and they made it so you couldn't play with your friends unless you played online. And their whole idea behind it was that they wanted to make the game look nicer, and everybody's got Xbox Live now, so they can just play online. Fuck you. Fuck Microsoft. Fuck that. That's stupid. All right, you got rid of something that literally everybody uses, and you're like, no, nah, we wanted to make the game look prettier. Fuck that, I don't care, make the game look like shit. Put fucking Halo 3 graphics on that bitch, plug, throw the fucking split screen on there, and I'm a happy fucking camper. I literally returned that game the instant I found out there was no split screen, because I only play the multiplayer and the single player with friends. I, I, I specifically play it with friends at my house. We sit next to each other and play the fucking game, and I couldn't anymore, so I was like, fuck you, I'm done with this game. And it gets worse. That, that's not even the worst part about the game. It gets even worse. And I'm going to talk about the multiplayer, which is great. <laughs> Except for the fact that they added microtransactions, and it's fucking covered in them. And there's, there's so many microtransactions, it's not even fucking funny. And the fact that they added these things, there's like $90 ones that's like more, that cost more than the game day one. And the worst part about the microtransactions is it's not just like regular, like, Oh, cool cosmetics, I get a cool little bra to put on my Master Chief. No, you get fucking pay to win. They they added weapons that you can get in-game to play against other people online, and they're better if you buy more of them. So if you spend money in the game, if you pay money, you can win the game more because you have better weapons. Pay to win. What the fuck? That's two years before fucking Star or Star Wars Battlefront 2 came out with that shit, and they got fucking range for it. Halo 5 is just sitting there like, yeah, ninety dollar transaction. You want to buy it? You want? You want to? You want to? You want to get it? And yeah, they give you some free stuff every once in a while. Fuck that. That's stupid. Like, they give you like the the shitty ones just to like entice you. Like, hey, look, you can get more if you spend some fucking money. Garbage. Fucking garbage. So of course, Halo fucking five underperformed like shit. Fucking Halo 3 is sitting up here with like 14 million fucking uh, sales, and Halo 5 is sitting down here with the measly little 5 million sales. There's almost a th like one third of the amount of sales. is garbage. Obviously, you guys took a huge step down. You couldn't think to like, hmm, I don't know, maybe emulate what Halo 3 did. Nope, you guys are gonna fuck it up. So just, everybody's doing mo microtransactions now. Let's just do that too, because we can make some fucking money. Fuck you, Microsoft, and fuck you, 343 Industries, for doing that shit. You killed a franchise that I fucking loved. And now this Halo Infinite is supposed to be coming out at the end of this year, at when, the same time that the Xbox is supposed to be coming out. So it's supposed to be like a console-selling game. The problem is, they haven't set, shown any fucking gameplay whatsoever, so we don't even know what the fuck it is. I'm assuming it's a first-person shooter, but we don't fucking know. We have no idea. And the worst part about it is, is that the creative director just recently quit, which is a great sign, because that shit happened to Andromeda and fucking Anthem, and you see where that happened. Well, fucking, these games are great. So, when Halo came out, you were super excited. You're like, hell yeah, I'm gonna play a game with my boys. It's sit up all night, drinking Mountain Dew, and calling people losers on Xbox Live. But no, 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 now they ruined the series. So every time you hear Halo, you're like, ooh, I don't know, ooh, kind of cringy. And it's it's just kind of saddening, because I, I, I definitely love that, that franchise, and it's just it's just been buried deep, deep in the microtransaction hell that is Microsoft. And, you know, I'm, I'm just, fingers crossed, hoping that it's a good one. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching my video about me complaining into the camera, and if you enjoyed or you agree with some of my opinions, then, uh, you know, you're cool, and say something in the comments. If not, then whatever, don't like my video. Have a good night, guys. Peace.